What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. Hope you enjoyed that last video of this inlay. It turned out freaking awesome. <laughs> now we're on to some of the final touches of both of these decks and getting ready for the pergola installation over there. We got a lot of really cool details coming up, so make sure you hit subscribe. So make sure you hit subscribe. Stay tuned. Pat's working on finishing up this inlay. We need to screw down all these inlay pieces. So we're getting all these screwed down and we're getting prepared for our light. Stop. We're getting prepared for our light installation. We gotta screw these little pieces down too, but we're getting ready for the light installation. Let me show you what we got there. We're using these in lights. Fusion 22. These are gonna get recessed right into the deck and we have a lot of them going in here. At each intersection, there's gonna be a light, so we're gonna get those drilled in, go underneath, get them hooked up, and we'll show you how we do that. I cannot wait to get a picture of this thing all lit up. It's gonna be crazy. We got there. Polar. Coldest bears. We're starting to drill out for these lights. Got this nice little Forstner bit. So all I'm doing, we're going right in the center of these. So boom. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, so. We got these drilled out, and now we're gonna start putting these lights in here. Just a little pendant light, recess light, puck light, I don't know what to call them, but uh, these are from Inlight. It's really nice, high quality light, and when it's gonna be flat on a surface like this, you wanna make sure it's a high quality light, so. We got it drilled out. Those Forstner bits are really nice. Now I'm gonna take this massive mallet. Boom. Let's see how many we got here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 lights in here. So we're going to get them all installed in the top. Then we're going to crawl underneath and we're going to have to chain them all together. It's going to be freaking sweet though. You're going to be like, whoa, where'd all those lights come from, bro? It's going to be like hella bright out here, dude. What's going on, everybody? <laughs> we're underneath the deck right now in the business we call this below deck. All right, so we're getting these lights hooked up and you might be wondering, why didn't you hook these up before you put the decking down? Because we couldn't really do that because we had to put the lights in the inlay that had to be done first. So it's a little bit of a pain getting under here, but nothing, uh, I mean, Scooter don't mind doing. We've got our lead wire coming in over there. That's gonna go to our transformer. Oh. These are the inlight connectors. Here's the lead wire from the fixture, which is above me right now. I'm below deck. You just plug that in. Ow! It's a rock. <laughs> okay, so here's our little wire guide. This angle make me look fat. Yep. Okay. Now, I like to just push it in there a little bit. And then here's your cap. Screw it on there until it clicks. Get close for the click, Pat. There you go. All right, oh, so God! What is it? <laughs> Where? It was on my arm. Is it a big one? I don't know, it felt big. We're gonna finish hooking these up. We're gonna get our transformer installed and we're gonna make sure that these lights work before we close up the deck because, uh, you know, it's hard enough getting in here as it is. Don't wanna make it harder, so. I think I'm done. Scooter, you got this? Ah, my neck. Can't wait to get this all lit up. This is gonna look awesome. Now that we've got the stairs done, we are on to the railing. Once again, we're using the Decorators ALX Contemporary Rail System. My favorite railing by far. We cut down the tops because we're gonna have a cocktail rail here like we always do. 
And this is a super easy system because it just gets top mounted. Make sure you have blocking underneath, which we do. And these just get lagged down and you would not believe how strong this is. I was never a believer of these. We used to always use four by four posts and have carriage bolts through them, but this is actually a lot stronger than that. I don't really know how, but it's amazing. And you can put down all your decking so it goes in way faster, which I love. So we're gonna get these installed, then start cutting our sections. The sections are right here, we already have them. And not only are they pre-assembled, they're welded. So I love these. Super easy to install because everything's already put together. But go up in a breeze and there's no chance whatsoever of a rattle or anything like that because they're welded together, which is amazing. And it's also got this whole deck wrapped up. We've got the double border, dark slate, Kaya, and then the Costa. Now we're installing some brackets. This is from Toya Grid. Installing these brackets for our pergola, which is gonna go up here. It's just gonna be a super basic pergola, but over here, privacy wall with some stone on it. It's gonna look really sweet. Cool thing about these is they're super easy to install, just like those decorators aluminum rails. We can just top lag this. Make sure you got blocking underneath so that this catches something because this is gonna be supporting a lot. So make sure you get that going good and locked in for justice, baby. That's a sturdy boy. That's not going nowhere. That's not going nowhere. Now we're just gonna get the rest of these set. Three more, and then probably tomorrow, pop some posts in there, go up and around. We're getting our last railing section installed here, just level on each post as we go, putting those lags in there. They have these little adjusters or you can use shims like we like to do, really easy. So we're getting this last little section in, everything else is done. Pergola time. Why are you doing this to me? Say it. Pergola Say time. It. <laughs> pergola time. What time is it? I feel like I'm in pergolatory. All right, so we're getting this pergola going up. We've got these Toya grid brackets. They're lagged into solid blocking underneath. And these things, it's not even screwed in yet. It's pretty dang solid already. We're gonna have this all connected up top so it'll stiffen everything up, but I'm really surprised how well these things work. It's a really tight squeeze getting these in there, which is nice. So we'll lag these in. We've got four posts going up. And this is just gonna be an outer frame of a pergola with privacy wall there. So that we can hang some cafe lights and possibly a shade sail, but uh, it's more decorative than anything, but they can always add to it later if they want to. Ant over there is notching out the posts to accept those beams. So we're getting them sanded down here on the ground. Pat's having a great time doing it. And uh, as soon as we get those ready, we can get them up there. We'll stain them up in the air, but uh, it's gonna start taking shape really soon. All right, so at the end of the day yesterday, we got these beams up here. They're all locked in for justice, and now we're starting to work on this privacy wall here. This is gonna be a combination of some decorators, Costa deck boards, and a stone veneer centerpiece here. It's gonna be a black stone veneer. It's a really cool new product that I found, and uh, I'm pretty psyched to install it. It's gonna give it a really modern, sweet look, so first things first. Frame it a wall. Ant, king of layout Lombardo, got everything marked out here because we have nine feet in the center which is going to be covered with cement board for our veneer and then this last three feet here on each side is going to be a reserve for those Costa deck boards.
But you can see that this went up pretty quickly and now we're ready for our stone veneer, which is gonna look really cool. I actually just picked it up. Really modern looking stone. This is gonna go all over the wall. I think it's gonna be just the modern touch that this needs. You can see we got these inlights all hooked up. Looks really cool. I can't really get a good picture during the day, but the client did send me a picture last night, so check this out. That's it for this vlog. Next, we're gonna be onto the hardscaping, which I'm really, really excited about. We have some really cool Teco block patterns going in here, walls, patio, gardens, all kinds of stuff. So make sure you hit subscribe, stay tuned for that. And until next time, this is Premier Outdoor Living.